12 and 6. As Noah Cakes in center, hands off to Ryan Finley, flying on in, all the way around behind, wrapper on try, and he's denied that look just like Scotty Hartnell last night. <laughs> last year they stuck with Allmark, it eventually ended up costing them in that Florida series, but something worth watching for sure. And Allmark with a save there on Scotty Lawton, who leaned into one. Marchand, he holds on and waits. And outside of the net, they get it to Zaki in front, a jab shot, and the save was made by Harrison as Van Riemsdyk. For Boston's power play, Obviously, Pasternak is the big threat, but another threat is their goal line. Evan Shattenkirk tips the puck, fires with a chance here with numbers. They push it ahead, and here's Paling with it. Paling with the puck, Paling the shot, and the save by Omar. And back the other way go the Bruins, although Couturier is back to knock it down, and he gets it to Faraby. Faraby winds it, fires, and the save made by Omar. Next, he was going to the net, and then he has the puck tipped back to center ice. No, as if Faraby saw connect either. Nice pass there from Faraby to TK. Tries to slide it off to Couturier. From the angle, the save. Rebound. Faraby in front, but he was checked. Here's Pasternak moving up. Pasternak gets the shot off blocked by Sealer. Just behind the net to Pasternak. Centered it in front. Oh, what a save by Erson. He robbed Zaka. As the Bruins get this puck and move ahead. Zaka. Off of the right side, Pasternak. He fires and scores. David Pasternak with a laser. Beats Harrison. The Bruins get the first one. Pasternak's 25th goal in his 29th game against the Flyers. And we talked about how lethal Pasternak is. And in a beautiful feed before that Harrison made a save on. And right here he just uses Sandheim as a screen. And this is the talent that Pasternak has. You can see he waits. And he puts it right through the five hole of Sanheim and then rips it off the far post. Awfully difficult for Erson to locate that puck because it's not only the screen of Sanheim, it's also the drive by screen from. Let's get the puck. Rings right behind the net. Pasternak zigging and zagging. Centers it in front. And Van Riemsdijk stopped by Harrison. The puck sat there for a moment. And the Flyers having difficulty with this line. Zaka across. McAvoy scores. Pretty much an empty net for him. And it's 2-0 Boston. I mean, Pasternak able to escape the check. Great save by Erickson. But then it's about the defensive zone coverage after that initial save because you get running around in your own zone and becomes difficult to sort things out. Number Devil sends it diagonally into the Philadelphia zone. Walker a peek around. Laurier couldn't get a piece of that. Kyle shot, he scores! The arm goes up, but it's still a goal as the puck winds up in the net and three goals in rapid succession. And just like that, the Bruins have a 3 0 lead. Laurier gives it to Carlo at the point, and much like we saw in the Detroit game, a bad break because this goes right off a of sealer stick. It's really a nothing shot. You know, Carlo just wristing it to the net. Should be an easy find for Ayers. You can see it goes right off the shin pad of Sealer. And 45 to go in the period. Pasternak. Wrestled by York. With the puck to Henry. Like in front of another save. Rebound. And they score. And it's Pasternak again. There's too many bodies in front getting good looks. And Pasternak. As his second of the period and 33rd of the year, it's 4 0. Yeah, this is what I was referring to. If you can kill plays quickly, but give credit to Van Riemsdyk here. I mean, he, he wins a battle along with Pasternak. I mean, these guys were beasts behind the net. The work of the two of Pasternak and Van Riemsdyk, and then eventually the feed by JVR out front to Pasternak. You got to give credit. I mean, those guys are digging in, they're winning battles, and if, if you don't kill it. Van Riemsdyk. Back to Carlo. Two go to him. The puck to Zaka. Zaka all the way out to the point. Lindholm. His shot deflected just wide. Pasternak got it back in front. Van Riemsdyk. And he scores. More of the same. And it's JVR with a goal. Ending a 10-game goal. It's Stroud and picking up his third point of the game. 5-0 Boston. To kill the offense early, it allows this line in particular to get going and Pasternak was an absolute beast on this shift once again he won several battles 
initially on the back check on connecting in the neutral zone and then in the corner against Drysdale. Therapy, they're all after him. Boy, diligent checking by the Bruins, too. Wouldn't let the Flyers really get free with it. Now connecting, cuts in front, Steve Bomar flashes the pad across. Connecting wants a penalty. I don't see an arm up. Yeah, he, he helped me out, and a good chance for Konechny here. He wanted a hooking call. That was coming, but a, another good save there by Omar. You can see how he loads on that post and then that push with that right leg. And as you mentioned, he's a big guy, six foot four. You got those long legs. And the Bruins cleared all the way down. It is going to lead to, no, they call off the ice again at the last moment. And Sanheim will move it ahead to Forster. Forster gets away from Wotherspoon, cuts to the middle of the shot, he scores! There's some of that goal-scoring ability of Tyson Forster. No big celebration, but the Flyers are on the board, it's 5-1. Well, what does that mean? What does it look like? This is what it looks like. Protect the puck, Wotherspoon bounces off of Forster, and then the skill can come into play. The drag, the shot, and it goes right through the legs of Omar. A real determined effort from Forster there. Sanheim picks it up, full gallop. Head out with it. Sanheim flying through the neutral zone. To the slot, the pass down, Lapeling! And the save made by Omar. He wasn't sure he had it. Zone. And then a real nice play to kick it out to Konechny. Konechny quickly gets it over to Paling. And Paling, who looks so good in the first period with a couple of chances. It's this one as it bounces right to his stick. And of course, he's trying to recover. This is Seelit for a shot. Off his stick, bounces to Excel. And he's checked by Carlo before he can get the shot off. Now he punches that puck forward. Here's Forster shot. They score! Forster fired away, and it rang off the post. And Tyson Forster has himself a multiple goal game. It's 5-2. to two. Probably his lack of goal scoring. Good hard work here by Lixell in the corner to win the puck. And Forster quickly gets it to the net. I think it goes off the Bruin defender. Goes right off the stick, I believe, of yeah, of Grizzling. And it changed direction off the post and in. And you know, you try and take minor victories in games like this, and for Forster, good to see him get two here this afternoon. Alex Zell will pick up, we believe, his second NHL point. Allmark, a huge save on Frost, and the puck that fluttered toward the goal. Connection will fire, save Allmark, rebound, spit out, but the Bruins are able to get to it, and Van Ringsdijk will move it ahead. He's got Frederick, Frederick will wait, fire. And Sanheim pulls over Peterson, and the Bruins score. Charlie Coyle. Ah, yeah, it's going to be a goal. It's Sanheim that simply runs into Peterson without the aid of Charlie Coyle, and Coyle able to pick up the free change. Tough break for Peterson. Pass there is tipped away. Paling will move it out to center ice. Ferrari to it. And the Flyers will head into the All Star break, having lost five in a row in regulation. The Bruins atop the NHL standings.